Hi, welcome back to another Crypto Day video. It's Monday morning, which means another Staking Coins and Masternodes update video, number 26 in the series now. So that's a full six months since I did the first one. So I can't believe it's gone this quickly. But before we jump into the staking rewards for the previous week, I just want to run you over one small change. That's a Neutron. And basically I upgraded the wallet. So I was running 2.0.3 and updated to 2.05 actually yesterday. And unfortunately it's not a straightforward um, upgrade so normally you can just grab the new wallet software uh, replace the old one everything works um, fine unfortunately the wallet.dat file uh, from version 2.0.3 doesn't work with the new wallet which is 205 uh, it causes um, like an error when you try and open it up so what I ended up having to do was open up the old wallet uh, export the private keys for the addresses that were in that wallet then I grabbed a, a bootstrap of the new chain so there's a new chain for version 2.0.5 so download the new wallet downloaded the bootstrap uh, let it sync up and then imported the uh, private keys for the old addresses into the new wallet so it was a little bit of a palaver uh, there's a lot of people that have been having the same experience if you go to their discord uh, group a lot of people are, are pointing out some uh, hints and kind of tips stuff you can do even when I imported the uh, the, the old private key I still wasn't seeing all the coins I had to then do a rescan of the new kind of wallet so you open it up with the uh, minus rescan kind of option but all the um, information about that is in their discord group there's a lot of people that are having the same kind of issues so um, if you are um, upgrading to the new neutron wallet uh, give yourself a good half an hour an hour maybe because it's not literally just as simple as replacing the old uh, wallet exe with a new one um, anyway that's it uh, for the changes this week uh, no coin sold or, or anything like that this week um, so let's jump into the uh, staking amount so let's start at the top as always with navcoin 3.15 Five coins staked this week worth one dollar a seven a little bit lower um, than the last a few weeks I've been having a few issues I had a power cut a few days ago um, or middle of last week I think it was now um, which took out um, some of my kind of stake in a wallet I had corrupted um, uh, wallet dot that files and stuff like that so I really wanted to um, just tell people you know make sure you have backups of all your kind of wallet um, your wallet kind of software so if you've got um, sort of an old-fashioned kind of um, QT kind of wallet update uh, back up your wallet dot that files um, or depending on the the wallet your private keys anything like that make sure they are backed up and stored somewhere safe offline so I had yeah basically after a power cut I had a corrupt uh, wallet dot that file on one of my syndicate um, staking wallets not ones that are actually listed here but a, a different one on a different machine um, which became corrupted I had to kind of then um, grab one from a, an off-site kind of backup it did work perfectly then but it just um, you know goes to show make sure you have backups of all your wallet software anyway uh, navcoin 3.15 coins staked worth one dollar and seven uh, syndicate 94.6 coins worth four dollars 79 uh, neutron 14.72 uh, coins worth 26 cents uh, neo gas 0.36366782 worth two dollars 19 neo had a really big um, price run up a few days ago about three or four days ago it went up about 80 percent um it's dropped back a bit now but it is still a little bit higher than uh last week but um unfortunately i didn't have enough gas to kind of take advantage of you know kind of selling and buying back you know i only had um i don't know what i had but it was like a literally two or three kind of gas so it's no, not worth actually doing that but um yeah always good to keep an eye out for these big um swings i took advantage obviously last week's video i told about uh, selling some nav coin um, when the price went up a lot and I'm waiting to buy back those kind of nav coin now um, bean cash 430.65 worth $1.28 been a disappointing um, staking week for bean cash this is on um, simple POS pool but it's been a little bit down on what uh, staking rewards I've received uh, a smart cash um, a really good week because we've had the smart rewards uh, rolled into last week so not just the smart no rewards but also the smart rewards for holding over um, whatever it is a thousand coins in a in a particular address and not sending any outgoing transactions in a month so 539.17 worth $14.91 so about an additional $10 on what we'd normally receive uh, Linda 2211.46 worth $2.45. A Chroma 64.01 coins worth $2.37. Uh, Pivx 0.15 Pivx worth uh, 15 cents. Uh, Pivx back over a 
dollar now, which is uh, nice to see over you know, a good few weeks where it's been under a dollar. So nice to see that back over the dollar mark. And then finally, Shard at the bottom here, 12.67 worth 85 cents. And um, nice to see Shard finally being listed on coin market cap. So it makes it a lot easier to get um, the prices than before. So uh, total worth 9,308. That's down probably about 200 bucks on last week. That's largely down to the uh, the little pullback from Navcoin. So after Navcoin had that real big spike last week, it's been pulling back a little bit. Uh, Neo's down a fraction on last week as well, but everything pretty much um, where they were over the last kind of week or so. So um, pretty much the same total net worth. Total stakes now $4,162.81 and our weekly staked amount was $30.32, which if we look at the uh, graph here, see up on the last few weeks. Now this is largely down to the smart rewards coming in this month, so last week of the month. So every fourth week we get the smart rewards in, um, which kind of pushes the amount up. If it wasn't for that, we would have been basically where we were the last couple of weeks, so around that kind of 20 odd dollar mark. So uh, 30, um, just over $30, but uh, probably about $10, almost $10 of that due to the smart rewards. So um, nice to see that up a little bit, but um, uh, everything else being equal, probably back down to the sort of 20 odd dollar mark uh, next week. And if we look at the um, return on investment, we'll see down a fraction, so down a, uh, about half percent on last week, um, total cost 31,000. Uh, 269 pounds the current worth 77 it was uh, 79 i think last uh, week um, as i said we haven't sold any more coins in the last week uh, so the uh, realized profit's the same uh, total profit down 21 just under 22 thousand dollars and if we look at the um graph for this is the total worth we'll see down a fraction on last week but up on the last uh, couple of weeks so we've um had you know, a few worse weeks. So we had uh, weeks 19 and 20 and then 23 and 24, which were worse than this one. So um, I think in general, the market seems to be relatively positive at the moment. We're still kind of trading quite flat and quite sideways, not far off those kind of all time lows. But I think um, probably for the first time in a month or so, there seems to be a little bit more uh, positivity in the kind of market. I think people are kind of like um, are pricing these kind of kind of lows. Um, as I've said in some of my other kind of videos, uh, the weekly kind of update videos, I don't see Bitcoin going uh, down really back down past uh, 6,000, lower than 6,000 now. So I think we're kind of in that kind of like steady kind of um, phase really, just waiting for some really good news in order to have, have a bit of a, a breakout kind of run. And hopefully when Bitcoin does kind of break out a little bit, then it will drag uh, some of these other coins up with it. Uh, the other nice thing, I think in the last couple of weeks, we've started to see little jumps up from individual coins. So rather than everything being tied almost exactly to kind of Bitcoin, and Bitcoin goes up a few percent, Alts go up a few uh, percent more, and when Bitcoin goes down, alts go down a few percent more. We've seen some breakouts from certain coins. So uh, Navcoin, probably a bit of a pump and dump, but we've seen a Ripple jumping up. We saw Neo pumping up over this kind of last week. So we're starting to see um, other kind of coins really kind of jumping up in price. Electronium is another one, um, not a staking coin, but um, one that's really driven, been driven up in price over the last kind of week or so. Um, and breaking away from that sort of real correlation with Bitcoin. So nice to see that. So um, I'm, you know, hopeful, um, not kind of positive or anything like that, but I'm kind of hopeful that we might start to see maybe a little bit of a breakout over the next uh, few weeks. I think hopefully um, in October we'll start to see that breakout in price uh, upwards. But um, anyway, that's it for uh, this week. Thanks very much for watching. As always, um, let me know your comments below. If you have um, managed to upgrade Neutron without having to... Um, export your private keys or export the wallet and re-import it please let me know if you've got any um, ideas of that but um, if you are having trouble jump onto their uh, discord group they've got a, a very helpful um, community there and they can get you um, pointed on the right track but yeah I, I ended up having to export the private keys and then just import them into a brand new wallet anyway that's it for this week thanks again for watching and hopefully i will see you on the next video have a great day bye bye